This is Project Sea of Green. Hello! Oh, welcome everybody to the Wind Waker part number six. This is the Project Sea of Green. Because Link's in green and we're out in the sea, okay? So basically that's it. Anyways, before I left the island, I wanted to show you this one last house. This, that's the auction house downstairs, and I guess this guy lives here upstairs. Hmm? I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do. Hmm. It's difficult to tell, yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a fighting place called the Foreskin Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be difficult voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Miller again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept in more than a wink. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But would you lend a hand and help rescue my precious daughter? Um, sure. Ooh. You're a brave boy to take on this task, I assure you. If you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. Your entire fortune for her safety? I'll hold you to that, buddy. Got a nice view, though, here. That's that's a nice view. Anyways, I think you can jump down. Yes, you want to jump down onto... Whoa, no! Damn it. Damn it. Hold on, is it not? Where is it? I don't see it up there. I thought there was a... Oh, there is. It's on the right-hand side. I'm gonna go around, moo. Alright, anyways, jump down. Hold or let go. It's kind of weird that that's the only way onto the stage. Like, how... <laughs> the only way onto the staging area is to drop down from above. Anyways, and over here is... Twenty dollars! So that's just in case you need a little cash before you sail off into the sunset. And then there's these very shiny pots. You pick one up, and you throw it, as usual. What?! YOU LITTLE WEASEL! Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my highly prized vases! If you break any more, I assure you that I, I shall not let it Go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. If you break another face, he will take your money. Do not do it. Unless, unless you want his m to take your money. There are plenty of faces out here that you can break. I don't know. You know but if you really want to pay and break his faces, then go right for it. Anyways, it's time to set sail. Whoops. Hit a tree. No, do not talk to me. Stupid creepy guy. King of Red Lions, I have a sail. <laughs> oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come, next to my hull. And climb aboard. Hoist the sail. With A. Yes, it's an automatic item now. So you don't have to set it to any buttons in this version. Okay, we'll steer. Yes, okay, that's great. I'll, I'll, yes, I understand. I know how to drive a boat as much as I don't want to. Alright, okay, that's great. The Wii U gamepad, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's an easterly wind. So, it's time to set sail! Now, the wind is the arrow there, so you gotta follow your arrow. It'll show you where to go. Follow the arrows, I'll show you where to go. So for now, we just follow the arrow, and off we go. Into the, um, into the skies, I guess. And I guess we're going to use this time to talk about stuff. How are you guys doing? Are you guys having a good day today, or a bad day today? They also put this little game in. Where you can do this, so you can kind of go in between them. And then you can try to jump on top of the- Hold on, no, whoops. Which one's to jump on? That one's to jump on. There we go. 
and you can collect rupees as you go. And I kind of need the money right now, so we'll do that. Oh, but look over here. Look over here, there's a platform. Some kind of a raft that's been overtaken. So let's stop here. I said stop here. No, I said stop here and we'll get out of the boat. And I don't know why this guy is just hanging out here. We'll kick his butt. He's got a telescope that looks awfully much like my sister's. And what? He was standing in the ocean now. I don't think he was even swimming. I think he was like standing in the ocean. And he's guiding some money. I don't know what else he's doing. Because like if he was like some kind of an advanced lookout, he failed miserably. Miserably. There's also this platform over here, which will also contain. Oh, there we go. Get that money. You climb up these platforms, and usually these are lookout people too. Oh no! Hold I said get out, please. Uh, yeah. Gotta, gotta be that. We'll go over to the ladder. If you climb up these platforms, there's usually enemies up there, and there could be fabulous prizes. What fabulous prizes shall we find? Climb the ladder. Ladder for prizes. It's just a couple of guys hanging out. A couple of guys were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. My grandma got scared. <laughs> oh, he's... Well, I don't know if he's dead or not, but he's definitely in the water. I guess that counts as dead. D-d-d-dead. I get the pot. Oh, wow. I, I hate pendant. Isn't that nice? Get to collect another hate pendant. And you get $20! Yay! Alright, uh, hold it. A boat. That's, that's another boat. It's not my boat, but it's our boat. Oh, 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 your boat. I actually want that boat, too. Kind of, kind of pretty bad. Oh, but he's heading in that direction. I'm never going to catch him. Well, maybe. Maybe at just cruising speed I can catch him. Do you think I can catch him at cruising speed? Come on, catch him, catch him. Maybe if he does a turn or an angle. I gotta catch up to that boat. Come back here! Come on, King of Red Lions, your cruising speed has got to be good enough. As we get closer, you will notice it is Beetle. Have we met Beetle before? Probably not. No, we have. This is the new appearance of Beetle, isn't it? Yeah. So this is Beetle. And, um, not Beetle. Beetle. Like, like Beetle Bailey, I think, right? Comic strip, you know, if you know it. And this guy never wears a shirt. Like, seriously, put a friggin' shirt on, man. What happened to no shirt, no shoes, no service? And he's the he's the owner. He should have more respect. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal with pretty much anything and everything. Uh, don't you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me, and you'll pay for my junk? Really? Okay. Well, I want to browse. And so we got... We got bait, a hoy pair, and a bait bag. First thing you gotta do is buy a bait bag, or you can't keep bait in it. So let's buy that. You gotta buy, buy, buy. Now we can put bait inside the bait bag. Thank you! Y you're welcome! Alright, so we can also get a member's card, and I forget what this does, because I, I usually hardly buy anything from Beetle. Um, but I've saved up one point. And I have to try to save 30 points for a silver membership, and I don't even know what that does, I forget. Uh, so we're gonna buy some bait, and we get three servings of it here, and you get a hoy pair. We're also gonna buy some hoy pears, yes? Let's buy three servings of bait. And we'll show you later on in this game what the bait will do. Thank you! You're, you're welcome? Uh, I now have two points saved up. But we're gonna buy some more bait. Bye! You're welcome! How much is a hoy pair again? It's ten bucks. Okay, we'll buy one more bait. Thank you! You're, you're welcome. And then, we'll get two hoy pairs, which I'll also show you what they do later. But you want to have them now, because 
It might be hard to track down a beetle later on. Or I might forget to track down a beetle later on. And then when I need what I need to get, he won't be anywhere around. So there we go. We've got six points on his membership card. Goodbye! Goodbye, beetle. Goodbye. Could you please put a shirt on? Like, seriously? Oh, yes. Right into the boat. And set sail, baby! Yeah! Okay, we got another one of these little platform guys coming up here. Might as well stop and kill him, too. Stop. Drop. Pick him up, shop. Whoa! Rough Riders! Not even locking onto him. Just trying to slash and hack. Okay, what are you guarding here? Pick it up. And you get a couple bucks. Big whoopie doo -da. And another couple bucks. Big whoopie doo -da. That was not worth stopping for. It really wasn't. Let's continue on our destination. Which is probably that big island up ahead with the bird's nest at the top. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like a bird's nest. What else would it be, right? Friggin' huge bird's nest. We're headed right for it. The wind is setting a sail there. Set sail, baby! Oh, it's not a nest. It's a cloud of doom. A cloud of doom. <laughs> hey. They're on the horizon. That's our destination, cows. Dragon Roost Island. There was a beetle ship here, too. But, whatever. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the... Uh, what does it say? Oh, fuck. Huh. Why is it all blurry to me? It's just weird. Hmm. It's weird. I can read every other word, but I can't read that one. Spirit of the skies. Huh. This is so strange. I don't know why my TV's showing that all blurry, but I can read every other word. Anyways, a great dragon by the name of Valu. It's probably because my TV sucks, but it doesn't explain the other words. But whatever. You must go to see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Utu tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait, just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Ooh, we get the title. First conduct in 3-4 time. Okay, he's going to teach us how to use it now. So this is basically our ocarina. So for now we're conducting, and I really don't know where the music's coming from. Very nice! That was splendid! Next is 4-4 four, four time! Alright, 4-4 four, four time. So you gotta change your buttons and hold them down and blah 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 blah. So no, that's 6 time. That's 4-4 four, four time. And then you go up. Boom. 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 That's it, cows! That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct in 6-4 time. Yes, okay. But that's... That's that's not for a while. All right, so we get the magic of the gods. Okay, that's just that's just great. And we're actually gonna. Oh yeah, we don't have to equip that item either. We don't have to equip that item either. But anyways, if we come around to the back of the island. You're gonna see this other little platform area. Let's go check it out. Check it. Check 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 it out. Check 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 it. And you see these symbols that we just had learned moments ago. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. 
Wasn't that just great? So here we go. We're going to wake the winds. We did it! You learned the wind's requiem. <gasps> and the wind has changed the direction. Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. <gasps> a frog on a cloud? Really? The name's Zephos. I'm the god of the winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction of the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother! It sends me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, Chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> that that wasn't that funny. But anyways, we now have the title item of the game. Isn't that amazing? I think it is. It's amazing. It's amazing fruit! <laughs> it's amazing fruit. Anyways. Those familiar with Zelda will know that this is a bomb flower. They grow, and they explode. Oh shit. And I totally missed. That thing bounced. Anyways, we need to have a nice shot. No, see, why is it doing that? Why doesn't it just land in a nice spot? You know? Okay. I don't want it to bounce off the rock. I just want the... There we go. The rock says, I'll give you some hearts. Up, oh, up. Oh. Up, oh, up we go. There's, luckily, there's another bomb flower here. Uh, we'll just drop this one. Oh shit! Maybe we should run away. Watch that one run away. Get ten bucks. But anyways, we want to continue up. We need to get up to get up into the building. Well, or the town. I don't know who put all these rocks here, but I guess it doesn't really bother them because, well. They're, they're just not bothered by it. And you'll see why in a moment. Shit, is that going to be close enough? No, it's not close enough. It was close, just not close enough. And who took the bridge out? Like, seriously, that's just not cool, man. Oh, I missed! No way. Not cool, man. Not cool. You're wasting my time. Okay, there we go. That's good enough now. So we get to the top. We got a sidle. Here we go. Hashtag sidle this. Oh, yeah, look at that sidle. Who doesn't like a good sidle? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna sidle places. Oh, I can't wait to just go somewhere and sidle. Sidling is so exciting. Anyways, you see these bricks on top of the stone? Like, somebody had to have done that on purpose. Like, that's not natural right there. <laughs> they fall down into this thing. And you can actually jump down now and pull the bottom one out. Therefore, creating a shortcut back up to the top. See? And now you can get back up there. It's the bird people. Cows? Cows, is that you? No, it's not me. It is. I'm pleased to see that you are okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, cows. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Sure! I told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly ahead and let everyone know that you're coming. Come inside, cows. Ooh. I'll be waiting. <laughs> wow, he'll be waiting. Well, 
Wow, he flew pretty high up there. Isn't this just the entrance right here? Why'd he go all the way up there? That's kind of weird. Why couldn't we go in together? Well, you have discovered the cause of the Great Falu's anger! Ah, so you are cows, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach it. If this continues, the fledgings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our own very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah, sure, why not? Chieftain, what do you think of consorting cows with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, cows is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. I have to be counselor now? That may be. Let me direct. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak. In some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Sure, why not? I thank you. We shall do our very best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that y we may better help you with yours. I have something I wished for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Here, cows. Take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. You got a delivery bag! So now you can deliver things, like a postman! So many pockets, you can keep things in it. Ooh, wow, so many bags. You should find Medley. It is, is in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Kamali! Sounds like Tamali. Anyways, I think Prince Kamali is this way. I think this is his room down here. He's got those big teeth on the room door. Oh, what big teeth you have, my dear. Oh, he's got the pearl. We recognize that. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. What do you want from me, huh? Oh, is he just going to talk about that? Okay, so... He won't speak to us at all. Hold on. What does he have there? Oh, he's got some ducks right there. Duck, 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 duck. Cow. Duck, 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 duck. Cow. So let's go find Medley. Medley, 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 Medley. Life is but a dream. Medley, medley, medley your boat gently down the seas. Medley, 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 medley. Life is but a dream. 
Also, here's the postman. Postman pet, postman pet, postman pet, and it's black and white cat. You can play this game here for some money. He wants some part-time help. We can try it once here, but you really want to play it later on for some stuff. You can play it at any time, really. But we can do it right now. We'll show it off just the one time. Before t yeah, you have to show it ten letters before the time runs out. This should be easy. So we got palm tree and red palm tree and little potion bottle and green palm tree and red palm tree and red palm tree and whoops wrong one yellow palm tree and yellow palm tree and that one and potion bottle and red palm tree and green palm tree and green palm tree and red palm tree and some kind of weird jar and then that and oh shit I did the wrong one again but you, I got the 17. But you have to, for the top prize, you gotta get 25. And that'll be later on, but we'll, we'll work on that. You get one rupee for every two letters, so that's, yeah, I get eight bucks. Great. So, anyways, we're still looking for Medley. Where is Medley? Medley, 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 Medley. Life is but a dream. Hmm. There's no money in these pots either. Let's go in there, we can destroy them all. Maybe Medley's in this room here? Yeah, there she is. Wow! You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat! You're cows, aren't you? Oh me, I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit Valu. my name's Medley! Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here! This is from the children. Oh, Chieftain. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cows, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted the father's letter? Why is he writing him a letter? Why can't he just tell him this stuff? Whatever. S okay. So, we'll put it in the delivery bag and send it to Kamali. Alright. The room way in the back of the first floor. Yeah, I've already been there. Okay. When you Okay, he he's he doesn't mean to offend. I I know. By the way, um listen cows. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Okay, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll come down there later. But right now, we're just gonna jump down here and go see Prince Kamali. Kamali! I'd like a tamale! So let's get our delivery bag open, which I do here on my Wii U gamepad. And we get the letter. We put it in one of our slots and hand him the letter. A letter? From my father? Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? <laughs> That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Anything? Anything? Be careful when you use that word. The word anything. It's a pretty big word. Got those big words. Anyways, Dragon Roost is this way. And uh, Natalie wants to meet her there. Where is she now? She did, oh, there she is. She's down in the pit. You gotta fall down. Yeah. 
hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was such it was peaceful and lovely. But then, Great Falu, he became angry. So angry, and his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plunging, plugging the spring. So you can see the result. But where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was a great Falu, former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Falu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. I'd only... If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Cows, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is too high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. You are the wind beneath my wings. So we're going to try to throw her up there. Alright, yeah. We have to throw her with the wind, though. I like how she bends down. Hey, you now. Anyways, so you gotta, you gotta throw her with the wind. Oh, boy. I missed. That's no good. Oh, now she's all dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? I thought I'd thrown you well. Maybe I should back up. Or, maybe I should even get up on this thing. Can I get up on this thing? Yeah, I probably can. Okay. So now when the ashes start to blow the right way, which is like that. There we go. Yes, she made it. Oh, thank you! I think I was able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Falu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You get a bottle! Nothing's more important than a bottle. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Ooh, another secret. Well, good luck to both of us. Yeah, thanks. So we get another bottle. Oh, goody. And with this bottle... Um... I want to put that there. Put that in the Y button. We're going to grab some of this water right here. Woo, yay! Get some of that nice water. And we gotta get the heck out of this place. I think we can climb up the broken bridge, right? Scale that broken bridge. And up here you're gonna see some dying flowers. So what you wanna do is pour the water on the dying flowers. And they become bomb flowers! Pick up the bomb. Whoops, hold, no, I said pick up the bomb and throw it down there. Blowing that up! Letting the water spring free once more! Because nobody's thought of this until now. Only I, Cow's Crazy, can think of such a thing. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that I am such a genius that I can think of such a thing. Nobody else could. Now the water has risen back to a, an appropriate level. Like, why didn't I just tell her, you know? Like, um, you know, give me the bottle and then I'll, I'll join you, you know? And we could... We could get to go see Valu together. But no, no, we don't get to go see Valu together. So now you gotta play a little basketball. I missed, I think. Oh no, I didn't miss. Okay. Whoops. No, 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 don't touch them! I can't believe that crap. Seriously, we're having a 40 minute episode here because I can't do the simplest of things. I can't do the simplest of things. I keep walking into the lava. Maybe we should... Can we actually jump over to this thing? Basketball? No? Really? Come on. We're playing basketball. No? Really? We're playing basketball. 
No. Oh my god. The second one is such a bitch. It's like on this weird angle. Nope, not good enough. Come on! Pick up. That's good enough. And now we're across. We're playing basketball. Alright, so this will lead into the dungeon here, and we can get this dungeon started. Uh, Dragon Roof Cavern. We'll get this dungeon started in the next episode. Wait, hold on. So, um, Ar Argon Hello? again? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I think, I think I'm late. Um, but I'm, but I'm here, late. I'm here for the water temple, guys. It's okay, it's no, cool. This cool. one isn't even close to water, man. What Look are you talking la about? Look lava, fire, brimstone, just because there's the pool of water out front doesn't mean it's the water temple. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought like... That's just a th pond, the man. Ste there's like a bunch of steam in this temple, though. Like, steam, what? water, it's... That's, that's the properties, one. man. Come on, I'm all about the chemistry. Argon, may you should know this. <laughs> But that's evaporated water. I that's, think I think this one's your fault, but I'm. Oh. I, I could see how you could go wrong there. I could see how you could all go right, wrong. All right, there, fine, there, fine. I'll take I'll take your word for it. Just next time, next time we're gonna there get this. There is right. a lot of water in in this temple, but I will have a guest, not Argon, in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, everybody, I've been Cal's crazy, along with the intruder, Argon Matrix. Yeah, yeah, Please subscribe. <laughs> Please leave a comment below, and of course, moo. So embarrassing.